Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. I uh, thought I'd jump on real quick. Going to do a little mini podcast here and talk about a few things. Uh, one, um, Bully Ray. Bully Ray is no longer under contract with Ring of Honor. That was announced yesterday. Bully Ray is officially a free agent, can sign with any promotion he wants to, and this is absolutely fantastic news for Impact Wrestling because I know they've been teasing Bully Ray. They've been showing Bully Ray matches. Bully Ray has been teasing about possibly coming back to Impact Wrestling. And uh, actually him and Moose got um, got into a little Twitter little Twitter uh, mini fight. Uh, so uh, he was kind of teasing that he might be back. But and now he now the, the door is open for him to come back. He's no longer under contract, a free agent. And uh, this is just fantastic news. Fantastic news. I fully expect Bully Ray to be at Slammiversary now. Fully expect him to be at Slammiversary now. And he did express interest in the past. In the past, he did express interest in wrestling Tessa Blanchard for the Impact Wrestling Championship. Unfortunately, that's not going to happen now. But he also has uh, in- expressed interest in you know, reviving Aces and Eights. Uh, he's expressed interest in that in the past as well and he's also had nothing but praise for impact wrestling and what they're doing now so he's he's definitely interested definitely interested in coming back to impact wrestling and i fully expect him to come back at slammiversary and if they're gonna do an aces and eights a reunion or the revival uh like i like i said on the my last podcast it it'll work only with bully ray and now the door is open for that now the door is open for that um i could i could see i could see it happening now uh during uh, the main event match whoever that mystery um uh the fourth mystery person is going to be in the slammiversary mystery match it could be bully ray you never know it could be bully ray now that he's a free agent he could you know i i could see him i could see him in the in the main event I'd be for that. I mean, if, if he is in that main event, if he is the fourth man uh, in that main event, I, I think he's going to win the title. I think uh, the title will go around his waist. I, again, a lot of people want Ace Austin, and uh, I just I don't know if they will put the title on Ace Austin just yet. Uh, so if it is Bully Ray, you know, it could be EC3. It could be Eric Young. That's another strong possibility. Personally, I think EC3 is going to be feuding with Moose. Uh, I believe EC3 is coming back as well. So I think he's going to be feuding with Moose. So I think that fourth mystery person is either either going to be Eric Young or, or Bully Ray. So I'm, I'm going to call that right now. Either Eric Young or Bully Ray will be the fourth mystery person at Slammiversary. I, I, wow, just, you know, such a... Such a such a great time such a great time to be an impact wrestling fan you know they're they're really going to things are really going to change this anniversary and and i really hope they're not like one one off appearances i i hope they sign a number of these um these free agents uh to uh to at least a one-year deal you know one two-year deals would be would be terrific i know um gallows and anderson have signed actually it's been reported that they that they've also signed with new japan pro wrestling so they'll be working uh new japan pro wrestling and impact wrestling will be their um american uh promotion that they'll be working for which is fantastic and as Impact Wrestling is is pursuing so many free agents right now, so I think Zack Ryder is teasing uh, that he's coming. Um, I know um, Brian Myers uh, is teasing that uh, he's coming as well. So everyone everyone is teasing that they're coming to Slamversary. Again, just a phenomenal time to be an Impact Wrestling fan. Just a phenomenal time. And, and as they're pursuing all these free agents, one thing, though, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to stress here is I I hope Impact Wrestling doesn't kind of lose focus here and you know just sign you know, like Eric Young, EC3, Bully Ray, these older stars. I hope they don't lose focus and they don't they don't forget about some of the younger stars that are out there. I I think I would love to see them sign a mix of older and younger stars because uh, you, know, you know Gallows Anderson definitely coming in, uh, EC3. Um, Eric Young, Bully Ray, I, I strongly believe that they're coming in. But there are also young stars out there as well that I feel that they should bring in in addition to these free agents. And one of the top guys out there, and I'm so surprised that he's not on the Impact Wrestling roster yet. And and we're all familiar with him because we, we've seen him a number of times. Uh, Aiden Prince. Aiden Prince, just an absolutely fantastic, phenomenal talent. 
just a tremendous talent. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. You know, I, well, I shouldn't say shocked. I'm, I'm very surprised, very surprised that he's not on the Impact Wrestling roster yet. I mean, I, I have a really good relationship with with Aiden Prince, and and I spoke to him about it, and he really wants to be in Impact Wrestling. He would definitely love to be in Impact Wrestling. So I really hope that they consider signing Aiden Prince. And let's not forget about the winner of Gut Check, the Shogun Suplex Jackson Stone, another extremely extremely talented young wrestler. I, I just hope they don't. He doesn't get lost in the shuffle with all these free agents because he has a three year deal. He signed a three year the three year contract with them, and uh, I, I just hope he doesn't get lost in the shuffle with all these uh, free agents that are coming in because he's he could definitely add uh, to the Impact Wrestling roster. He's a, a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous in ring uh, performer. And uh, let's uh, a couple of other names. Uh, there's Daniel Garcia, Red Death Daniel Garcia. I, I think would be um, a great addition, a great young addition to Impact Wrestling. Uh, also, Kevin Bennett, Kevin Bennett, uh, the remix Kevin Bennett, uh, another tremendous, tremendous young wrestler, uh, and uh, I think it would be a great addition. RJ City, like RJ City, I, I, I don't know why RJ City is not with a with a major promotion right now. He, the guy cuts a tremendous promo. He cuts a, just a fantastic promo, and um, he really he, he he knows how to get legitimate heat. So I, I, that would be another good young addition to Impact Wrestling. And there's a guy out in the Maritimes uh, by the name of Kovey Christ. Kovey Christ, oh my God, another another guy that can cut an absolutely killer promo. His in ring work is just fantastic. So. And and Leo Rush is out there as well. Leo Rush would be a great addition. I know uh, he's he's one of the free agents that were released from, um, I should say, one of the wrestlers that were released from the WWE that's now a free agent. I think he was kind of saying that his career might be over, but I I don't know. And I know they're they were um, in their um, montage of of free agents that they could possibly sign. Uh, Impact Wrestling could possibly possibly sign. I know Leo Rush is um, is in that montage, so Leo Rush would be a great addition as well. So as they're pursuing these these older free agents, I think, like I said, they should also consider mixing in a couple of of new younger stars um, to balance things out. Uh, so I think that would be. Uh, a uh, fantastic idea for, for Impact Wrestling. Uh, so uh, before I before I wrap this mini podcast up, uh, there's something I wanted to uh, just quickly quickly touch upon. Um, there was on on Facebook somebody had um, posted something that kind of kind of caught my attention. Uh, it was this 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 um, this one individual, obviously not an Impact Wrestling fan, trying to make fun of Impact Wrestling and uh, the recent uh, releases that 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 occurred. You know, Tessa Blanchard, um, Joey Ryan, um, Dave Christ, and Michael Elgin. Uh, so he's kind of making fun of that, you know. So he puts in he he puts on he posts. So who is the next release in Impact Wrestling? You know, trying to be cute, trying to be funny, but. But he he completely made himself look like a complete jackass, and completely exposed himself uh, when he listed the seven names that um, that he suggested could be the next release from Impact Wrestling. So he's he's trying to be cute, like I said, trying to be funny. Like hey, I'm trying to be funny. You know, Impact Wrestling always losing guys. So, so who's next? Is basically the the tone of this of this. Um, of this post, but listen to the seven names. Listen to his seven names. He says, number one, could it be Michael Elgin? Duh, Michael Elgin was already uh, released. Then he, said, then he goes, two and three, Rob Van Dam, Tommy Dreamer. Okay, all right. But then he goes, number four. Number four is LAX. Number five, the Lucha Brothers. Number six, Eli Drake. Number seven, Austin Aries. So let me re- let me just I'll, I'll read the whole post again, you know, just without um, interrupting, just straight through. So it's who is the next release in Impact Wrestling? Michael Elgin, Rob Van Dam, Tommy Dreamer, LAX, Lucha Brothers, Eli Drake, or Austin Aries? Okay. Now, what does this tell you? What does this post tell you? What does this post tell you? This post tells you that people that are making fun of Impact Wrestling aren't even watching Impact Wrestling. That's that's what this post tells me. That's what this post tells me. That people that are making fun of Impact Wrestling aren't watching Impact Wrestling. And this 
guy who was trying to make fun of Impact Wrestling totally expose himself and prove my point. Basically, prove my point. Uh, LAX, Lucha Brothers, Eli Drake, Austin Aries. If you were watching Impact Wrestling, uh, if you if you were watching Impact Wrestling for the last uh, what two two and a half years, you would know that uh, uh, LAX, Lucha Brothers, Eli Drake, and Austin Aries are no longer with Impact Wrestling. They're no longer with Impact Wrestling, but because this gentleman is not even watching Impact Wrestling, he feels he needs to form an opinion on Impact Wrestling. Just like uh, there was another uh, another post um, where one guy, you know, I don't know where he got his information from, but he's, he, he posts that Vince Russo, Vince Russo was just hired by Impact Wrestling. He, he wasn't hired by Impact Wrestling. And the very next, um, the, the very first comment to that, post was somebody saying, well, that's another nail in the coffin. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the final nail in the coffin for, for Impact Wrestling. So I was thinking, what, what coffin is this, is this guy talking about? Like, what coffin is this guy talking about? So I, I responded. I said, uh, what do you mean by coffin? And then he goes into his whole thing about, oh, I, I believe he said they were with Spike uh, they was with Spike TV, and now they're, they're jumping from network to network, you know, and all their top stars uh, have left and gone to the WWE. And right there, right there, you know, you could just tell right there that that guy doesn't even watch Impact Wrestling either. That that guy doesn't even watch Impact Wrestling either. First, he referred to I, I'm almost certainly referred to Spike TV, but then you know with all the all the all the top stars, I'm surprised he didn't he didn't name like AJ Styles and Bobby Roode because I've seen that before. Uh, but it's just just more proof that people aren't watching aren't watching Impact Wrestling. And uh, we, I mean, we're still seeing we're still we're still seeing posts where people are saying they don't pay their talent. Or, or um, as I said, I still see posts where, where people are saying, well, AJ Styles and Bobby Roode and James Storm have left. You know, oh, but while people, while they leave, they don't talk about the people that, that they bring in, right? They never talk about that. They only talk about the people that have left. And then they talk about stuff that's like five, six years old. You know, it, it's not a sinking ship. You know, it's not a sinking ship. I don't know why people, they're, they're, they're not one nail away from closing the coffin. You know, Impact Wrestling is thriving right now. It's fantastic. Yes, they go through tough times, just like every promotion does, but they always bounce back and they get better. And they get better and better and better. Impact Wrestling is a tremendous promotion right now. They have lots of talent. Lots of talent. And if they would just watch the, today's product... They would see that. And then, you know, people might say, well, Lewis, Lewis, you, you don't like the WWE. You don't like the WWE, so um, we're allowed to our opinions. And yes, if you watch Impact Wrestling, you know, if you watch the current product and you say, I, I don't like it, no, that, that's fine. If you're watching it, you don't have to like everything. You know, but again, people will, will say, you know, Lewis, you know, you don't like the WWE. Uh, so what's the difference? The difference is, the difference is that... I am not on the WWE social media page every other day putting down the product. That's the difference. That's definitely the difference. Watch Impact Wrestling. Give it a chance. It's absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. They have tremendous talent. And you know what? It's about to get even better. Just wait till July 18th. And on that note, I'm going to say thank you very much for listening today. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.